Right, this is um, a graph showing the curves you can select with the valent um, for the weather compensation. I selected um, 0 0.6 for the underfloor heating. And then I selected 1.5. Um, for the radiators and those, that's the curve the boiler will follow and what that means is um, whatever temperature is outside it will then aim to achieve the corresponding temperature of flow from the boiler so for instance underfloor heating um, at minus two where I am in London, I have set it to, what did I say, 0.6. So we come across and that will give me a 40 degree flow. So the flow to the underfloor heating at minus two will be 40 degrees. Then the radiators, same minus two where we are in London, with a 1.5 curve, will be a 60 degree flow temperature. So the boiler should be trying to achieve 60 degrees. It may not do because we have um, the close couple T's and you might, might get some mixing here. So then the actual flow temperature may be slightly lower. So the boiler knows this, there is a sensor here and the boiler can sense what this temperature is. So if we're getting um, return water in and it's slightly more flow than the, the boiler, we will get some return water come across into here, which then cools the flow down. So perhaps the boiler may actually be running at five degrees more or, or a number of degrees more, and that's where um, it's not so good having uh, separation. but necessary evil. So what we've got is our boiler running at 60 degrees, but our underfloor heating needs only 40 degrees. And that's what the mix is doing. It's taking a certain amount of the 60 degrees and then it's cooling it with its own return water and cooling it down to 40 degrees by opening and closing the flow port or the return port. Um, so as long as you have a boiler that can produce enough kilowatts for the load and your emitters are balanced so they all get the 60 degree flow um, at the radiators and all the loops get their 40 degree flow at the manifold and then you have a decent return on all of them then theoretically you'll end up with a nicely toasty house and you can walk around in these funky socks. Um, hopefully that helps.